In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the cheapest ramen that money can buy at only 99 pesos against the most authentic ramen here in BGC. Well, that's what I've been told. And the time is approaching 6 p.m. and I haven't had anything to eat for dinner. So the first place we're going to go to is the cheap ramen and it's located along the high street. Now, where this cheap ramen is located is underneath the One Bonifacio High Street Mall, just over there. It's underneath the 3D billboard, tucked in the food court. We just gotta cross this road. Okay, we're going down BGC's smallest escalator. We've gotta watch out for our head, especially if you're somewhat six foot three, because it is quite low down. Anyway, we're going down here and we turn to the right. There is a ramen store doing ramen for 99 pesos. There is 99 peso ramen. Now, I don't know if this is the official name of the store or if it's QQ ramen. I don't know. Oh, QQ is 99 in Japanese. Now, I wonder if that will be 99 pesos including tax or excluding tax. Hi, ma'am. Can I get the 99 ramen? Four dining, please. Four dining, please. Nope. Oh, do you do coke? Do you have like a coke? Oh, you don't have coke. Okay. No, they got policy for that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So it looks like 99 peso ramen is actually 99 pesos. I find it hard to believe, but uh, let's see what you get for 99 pesos. It's going to be a bit of a surprise as I've never tried this. Now, while I wait for my food to be prepared, I want to find myself a soft drink because I love ramen and Coke. I, I know that's probably not a popular opinion, but for me it is. I love that. Wait, but where can I get a Coke? Just walking around here trying to find myself a Coke, I've come to realize it's going to be almost impossible to find myself a seat at this time of the day because it's lunchtime. Sorry, lunchtime, dinner time. So many people here at the food court. Hi, ma'am, can I get a Coke? Four yeah, Mokano? Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's nice and cold. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Well, our tag is now beeping, indicating that our ramen should be ready, and I'm right here. Oh, first impression. Hey! Thank you, Po. Salamat. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, I think the shared table will have to do for today's 99 peso ramen taste test. And this is what the presentation looks like from QQ Ramen. We've got a fairly milky broth with some white thin noodles, a bit of pork there, and garnish with some spring onions and a bit of seaweed on the side. Let's try out the noodles first. Oh, the texture on the chopsticks seems very, very soft and malleable. Almost like they break very easily. Guys, for 99 pesos, I thought this was gonna taste really bad but it's actually pretty decent i really like the texture of the noodles that is impressive for 99 pesos i'm actually loving this let's try the little bit of seaweed that we got on the side here with the noodles mm. this is neither too salty nor too savory it's just right let's just try the broth by itself that is good that is really really good for 100 pesos, I would rate this a 9 out of 10, but I haven't tried the meat yet. I'm judging it too early. Let's try the meat. Let's see how succulent this meat is. This bit of pork. It is a tad bit gamey, kind of chewy, but again, at that price, you can't complain, really. I didn't even know you could get 99 peso ramen in Manila. I don't think you can get 99 peso ramen anywhere else in the world. Now, I'm certainly no expert when it comes to ramen, but I think this is authentic noodles from Japan in this ramen bowl. And I spoke to a member of staff and they say they import this all the way from Japan. So again, how is it only 99 pesos? Blows my mind. That folks has blown all expectations out of the water. I was expecting this to be really crappy, but I'm gonna end up finishing all of this and I might finish the whole broth too. How much does it cost to add an additional egg? Oh, you don't have the option. You just got to go next level up, yeah? So you go with umami tonkatsu ramen, which is at 189 peso. Or maybe tonkatsu ramen. Ma'am, what's the difference between QQ ramen and tonkatsu ramen? Uh, no flavoring oils. Oh, no flavoring oils. What about this one? 
hot garlic flavors here. Then this is one uh, black garlic. Oh, okay. That's the only difference between the 99 and the 159. And it has an egg, obviously, right? Fantastic. I gave it a really high score. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. There you go. That's the difference. That price right there, 99 peso, is almost the same price as street food. Actually, I spent more eating xiao mai and bitogo in yesterday's video, or the day before, than I did here. Hello, how do you do? Okay, the next location is back in Uptown, and it's going to take me about 5 to 10 minutes to get there. I've heard there's a very authentic ramen store underneath Mitsukoshi Mall. Now the quote-unquote expensive ramen or authentic ramen that we're going to try out now is at a restaurant called Mendokoro Ramen Bar which is located underneath the corner of Mitsukoshi Mall right here. It's opposite the Park West building where Starbucks is located. Ah oh, yeah, Mall of Asia! Whoa, crazy. How are you? What are you doing here? Are oh, you gonna eat here? Yeah. Okay, me too. Yeah. Hello, Hello how you doing? Very good. Oh, wow. Oh. I gotta say, the aesthetic of Mendokoro Ramen Bar at BGC sure is mesmerizing. Especially the way they've got these array of wooden ladders going up in an ascending order with ambient lighting tucks underneath. It's super fancy. I really like it. And the air conditioning is working really well right now. And you can see your ramen being prepared right in front of you by the numerous amount of chefs that they have here. In total, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people behind, I guess, behind the bar here. Here's the menu for Mendokoro Ramen Bar. Alright, so what have we got here? I think we've got the CEO or the founder, Hitadaki Ao or Hitadaki Aoyama. The quintessential ramen experience. I must say, it's not a very wide menu, it's very long and slender. And all the ramen from Mendokoro seems to be around about under five to six hundred pesos. Hi, um, um, is this the classic, the Shio? Yes. Okay. Four for how many? Uh, for one. Uh, John? One Shio, please, yes. Uh, would I like to add what? It's a marinated soft well Yes, please. And then how about the gyoza and drinks? Uh, I'll just get a Coke. Regular is zero. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, regular. Is the egg an additional cost or how much is the egg? 30 pesos. 30? 80. 80 pesos. Okay, cool. That's okay. Just pay by cash alone. Okay. Thank you. Where should I sit? Uh, receptionist will be the one. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Paul. How do you do? I'm doing great, sir. Good, good, good. Uh, so am I. Uh, yeah, this is my first time, you know? This is your first time. First time ever. I hope you will enjoy it. We need anything or any additional. You can call Charles. Oh, your name is Charles. Nice. I'm going to see you. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you, Charles. Thank you. Uh, sir, Jenny order one CEO with Ajitamago. Yes. Yes. If there's anything you want or anything you need, sure. just call me sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Can I get my Coke? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. So, of course, right away with uh, Mendokoro Ramen, you get this super cool-looking modern aesthetic place where you eat at, whereas obviously you know, no ramen, you don't have that, you're just eating at the food court. And it feels somewhat Japanese with uh, the staff screaming at Rashamasa every time somebody enters. But I, I think my favorite feature of this restaurant has to be the hanging ladders. It's so cool. I wonder if any member of staff knows exactly how many ladders are hanged up. Do you know, do you know how many are hanged? It's uh, 3,000, sir. 3,000? Yes, sir. Sunzen. And the configuration of this restaurant, everybody is seated around the kitchen area, which is like dead in the center of the restaurant. And it has this kind of like, oh, wait. Is it in the shape of a ladder too? I think it is. It's like one giant ladder, maybe. Yeah, it is. I just realized. The reason why I say that is because that's kind of like the, the upper end of the ladder. And then this is kind of like the scoop, I guess. That is something that probably most people don't realize when they eat it. 
And I must say, the service is absolutely fantastic. The staff here are super friendly, super nice, really softly spoken. This is what you pay for, eh? The way that chef was caressing those noodles, it was almost like his baby. There is so much activity going on at Mendokoro, it's hard to keep up because they have to serve. How many people do we have right now? I think there's about 50 people gathered around the kitchen eating. The delicacy and care that the staff are demonstrating as they put each and every single ingredient to make the ramen bowls is fascinating to see. Oh, is this mine? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for wow, wow, wow. Appreciate it. And there we are, we've gone with the classical shio ramen. And it almost looks like a face, especially with the two eggs there being the eyes and then a bit of pork being the mouth. Wow, look at the layer of oil and fat there. Oh my goodness. Let's dip our spoon into it. Whoa. That is a very, very thick broth. <laughs> Super thick. I do need to mix this, I guess. Let's get the flavoring all around. The broth is extremely hot, very thick and milky, and it's of a very savory taste. Goodness me, there's a lot of oil in that as well. I can feel it. I can taste it. Where are the chopsticks? Time to dig into the noodles. Well, the noodles are certainly a lot thicker, a lot more chewier. But they also feel a lot more milky and creamy. And look at this piece of uh, pork here. It is so thick. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, it is heavy. Mm. Oh, that meat is really good. I think this is the cheapest ramen you can get here at Mendokoro Ramen Bar, BGC. And um, I'm comparing the cheapest ramen from this restaurant to the cheapest ramen that you can buy at 99 Peso Ramen. So I don't think it's exactly the same ramen because I believe this has got like flavoring oils, whereas the one at 99 Ramen didn't have it. But hands down, they're not really comparable. This is way better. Honestly, this is one of the best ramens I've tasted in my life. And there's levels to this ramen game, as I've established today. Mm. That meat is just worth every penny. As I'm 75% of my way through this ramen bowl, um, I've come to realize it is actually very, very salty and savory. It is quite strong once you've had quite a lot. One bowl from this restaurant is enough to fill you up because the taste is so strong. It's all almost on the borderline of a little bit overpowering when you've almost gone through your dish. Well, as I've already paid, I'm free to walk out whenever I want. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Finished. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, a little. Uh, well, there we have it, folks. We compared cheap ramen to expensive ramen from 99 Peso Ramen and Mendokoro Ramen Bar BGC. And so I'm going to wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's ramen review video make sure you subscribe to the channel like today's video share with friends and family and i will see you in the next video here on the channel many thanks for watching guys take care and bye for now